Okay, this is a really quick video on how to increase click-through rate on your emails or web pages by simply adding a play symbol to any image uh, and obviously that image will then link through to either a video or quite often a slideshow uh, on Flickr of some photographs from, a, from an event or something like that. Um, I've done a lot of tests where just by simply having a play symbol anywhere on the page or anywhere in the email uh, it acts like a magnet for the mouse for some reason and people are just drawn to it um, so it's a really simple quick thing to do um, but obviously helps if you have videos and images to link through to. Uh, so first thing is to download the play symbol that's on this blog page just above the video save it somewhere on your desktop or wherever and then get the image that you want to use as the main attraction that we want to put the play symbol on top of. Uh, so for the purposes of this tutorial I've just got a random image of a conference speaker um, and I want to put the play symbol on top of that. So open up your image and then we're going to select the play symbol but we're not going to open it like a normal file we're going to use a function called place we just go to file and place and that will literally place the file you choose on top of the image so we're going to choose the play symbol and you can see that that just plunks it on top and you can resize it if you want by grabbing the corners and make sure you hold shift because if you don't hold shift when you do this you can see the pixel the ratio goes a bit skewed so as long as you hold shift when you rotate uh, when you resize it will keep everything uh, constrained also if you hold alt at the same time as holding shift it keeps the central point locked uh, which is quite handy for something like this so shift and alt as I drag and then I can make it bigger and then hit the return key when I'm happy now you can see there's a lot of white space there that I don't want so I want to get rid of that and um, before we can properly edit this image though and I won't go into too much detail about what this means but you'll probably find that the play symbol has uh, been placed upon your image in a stranger format so what we need to do is go to the layers palette and right click on the play symbol and just click on rasterize um, it's beyond this tutorial to explain what this means but just do it and then you'll be able to continue as normal. So rasterize the play symbol layer and then we want to get rid of these white um, spaces uh, so I want to use the magic wand tool so just W for wand and I want you to click on the white space and then press delete and then click on that white space and then press delete and that's you got rid of the white space then just quickly press M for the marquee tool and click anywhere in the image just to get rid of those marching ants um, so we have the image looking like so uh, now there's a few things you can do before you can you want to you might want to save this um, first of all you might want to change the color of the place and we might not be happy with the red so if you just press command U to get the hue saturation box up and just by simply dragging the hue slider you can change the color to anything you want basically so let's maybe change it to uh, bright green say click OK. Uh, another thing that I found which often helps uh, the play symbol stand out a lot more and is quite common practice when you see this uh, effect being used is to desaturate the background photograph uh, so click on the background layer and then again using command U to get the hue saturation box up just grab the saturation slider and start to drag it down you can drag it, drag it down to minus 100 which is completely black and white or you might just want to make it a little bit more greyed out uh, and then click OK and then that's it basically you just save as shift command S or shift control S if you're on a PC and just call it play or let's call it video link and then save as a JPEG okay and then now with this you would upload it to your email or your web page 
and add a link to it just like you would add a link to normal text uh, linking through to whether it's a slideshow from a conference or a video or whatever and I'm pretty confident that if you do A B tests using a non play symbol versus a play symbol image you'll find the click through rate will increase dramatically so yeah give it a go and save the play symbol that's on my blog so you can use it over and over again